first day of spring was what uh, for Saturday and today's yeah. Monday and it's spring break so we're gonna go uh, to a lake Uh, spring break, you know, kayaking. means yeah, kayaking. So we've decided to go to um, Lake Roosevelt, Roosevelt which is well, the third largest, I believe, in the state of Arizona. So um, little problem now, it's snowing outside. <laughs> so we're gonna go through the mountains and uh, then down to the rim. Uh, yeah, we gotta leave quickly so we can get over the mountain before it gets too deep in snow. We're gonna have fun though. I'll show you the car outside. Uh, car outside. Yeah, we're gonna be leaving soon. Hi. Hi. Um, this is our go trailer. It says go. Anyways, we have our kayak inside. And uh, it turns out to be a beautiful, it's like a flower, it just opens up. So we're eating breakfast real quickly and then we're gonna get going. All right, so we just got to our camping spot at uh, Lake Roosevelt. I like these little shaded ramadas. You know, if it was summertime, 116 degrees, you would need that. What do you think, Terry? You don't need a mask, do you? No, no, not. There's her face. Now you can see her. You can see there's a lot of people here already, a lot of boaters, and. We have a little scooter here and we got our kayak. So we're gonna start unloading. We'll let you know what this place looks like. We just picked up, we checked up the uh, trailer and Terry is attaching the, the tent harnesses. There's our front doorway. As you can see, we're still working on this side. Yeah. I'm holding it. All right, so it's a little breezy out. We finally completed the camper, the go camper. And it looks bigger this way than it does the other way. That's uh, pretty cool. All right, so anyways, it, um, let's uh, wipe our shoes off. Hello there, woman. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the inside. Welcome to the inside. The ceiling is definitely higher. I, I am six foot two and I don't have a problem standing up. So, and I'm right here. You can see there's plenty of headroom. So we're gonna do the boat. We're gonna get in the boat yep. and uh, we're gonna blow it up and we're gonna try to get to those islands and then over by the bridge and under the bridge and then uh, come back here again for the night. It's, uh, again, it's breezy, it's not hot. For spring break, I think this is great. It's better yep. than that snow. Very comfortable, <laughs> much warmer. Great views. Too. And so we have these um, air mattresses and they come with the trailer 
and you can hardly see out this window. I like the little Ramadas. I like, I like the blue roof. And unfortunately, you know, Arizona's in a drought, so there's many dead trees. Maybe they'll come back. All right, so we got we, our stove in here. We got plates, we got silverware utensils. We got a flashlight, soaps. Um, we got our overnight stuff. We got um, breakfast in one of these pouches. We got other drinks. We can put the Pringles yeah. in the pouch. Um, okay. Pringles can go in the pouch. And this hangs, it's like a, a dresser, and it hangs by these little uh, hooks. Yeah, the gummies are great for a trip. I, for I actually want those on a boat. Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. And I'll actually, uh, sardines, I mean, who, who doesn't want to have that with crackers? Uh -huh. So we have the crackers too. And we have lotion, which I can put Lotion down. for her chapped hands and mouth. No, thank you, kidding. <laughs> um, it's a great little... Uh, camper, we got nice carpet. The carpet feels real good, yeah. especially when you're walking in, in socks. And it helps keep us from bringing rocks into the trailer and yeah. damaging the flooring. And we can just throw, uh, shake them outside when we're done. Yeah, yeah, we'll just shake them out. So we'll be sleeping. This will be the bottom. And then we just have a blanket and sheet for the top. And that'll be good enough for, for tonight. It shouldn't get that cold. Nope. Good. All right, so we're going to be crossing over this bridge, and to the right is the dam, the Roosevelt Dam. So we're on the uh, the bottom half of Lake Roosevelt, and this is uh, Roosevelt Dam. You can see that they're uh, generating some power here. The lake uh, it didn't really look like it was not even 70 or 80 percent full. It looked like it was, it was pretty far down. So we're just going to go to the end over here. It's a cute little walk, and this is the uh, Salt Salt River. thunderous these are uh, I don't think they've ever opened those I imagine they did at some point when it, uh, the dam uh, gets pretty full but that's the salt river I'm not sure why they call it salt I don't believe it's salty but that's pretty down there Cactus. I like the old building. It's definitely one of the old ones. What do you think, Terry? It's amazing. It's amazing. That's that's a cool dam. Yeah, it's thunderous. You can feel it. All right, so Terry's putting the oars together. If she knows how to do that. We went down from the dam. And we blew up the boat and we're gonna go ahead and paddle the Salt River. This is an excellent uh, landing spot. It's called Three Mile Wash. Um, it was just about three miles of dirt road. We got little porta potties, trash cans. It actually looks real peaceful. There's only two other people here and they're just having a good time. So we're gonna get on that water real soon. Look at this thing. That's 12 and a half feet long. Right next to the island, we came out in the water. So, there's a nice cute rock terrier water thing. It's uh, pretty windy out here. Yeah, we're getting blown. We're literally getting blown upstream because the water goes that way from the dam. And uh, wind is blowing us upstream, which is kind of neat. We're actually going upstream. Duck? Where's the duck? And we're looking over here. Let's 
it's uh, very rocky. Look at those mountains. Look at that red color. Oh. Yeah, we didn't uh, put our skegs in this kayak. And that's the problem. Oh, um, no, I missed them. Yeah, we're not too far from the dam. Oh yeah, there's one of those little uh, duck divers. Here's Terry relaxing over here, eating gummy bears. Yeah, pretty good. Yummy. And on this side we had some, uh, I don't know what those are, weeds. Real quiet out there. A little beach area. Wow. So uh, we have a motorboat over there. This is our beach area we have to go into. Looks uh, pretty nice. And the road goes up. Ready to take in. Captain, ready to take me in? I'm ready to take the boat in. Um, I, might take you in. I don't know about that. Why can't we stay out here another, another couple hours? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a nice place to go, I guess, camping if you want. It's beautiful. It's kind of secluded. It is. It's a little, uh, little secluded place. Look at that water, dazzling. Ooh. Yeah. Roosevelt Lake, folks. And uh, this is the uh, little hiking trail they have along the edge from the campground. How you doing, Terry? Hey, pretty good. How's the bathrooms look over here? Oh my gosh, they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bullshit. they're they're decent. <laughs> yeah, they're they're uh, like a pit toilet with uh, water. You can yeah, they're actually you do your water. Pretty good though. I, Wash I your face and teeth. All right, so you got waterfowl. You got the uh, 
the little uh, uh, boat ramp. You can barely make out the bridge in the distance. Looks, I imagine it looks really small, but it's a good sized lake and we did not go kayaking on this lake yet. We will probably tomorrow morning. Just, just we'll just go out a little bit. But that's, that's great. The sun is, sun is going down. And uh, we're gonna cook up some, some dinner. Well, let's keep walking. Let's see how far we can go. Maybe we can go down to the water and come back. Yeah, we can at least get, we can probably go down to that pier. All right, let's take a look. And we sound like two horses along this trail. <laughs> so we got purple rock. Yeah, this. Like yeah, the uh, Choya uh, campground. I think it was a good choice. Okay, I'm tired now. Let's go back. <laughs> We're not there yet. All right. Well, hey, we got closer to the bridge. We did. Look at that. Look at that lake. I mean, and, and there's hardly anybody here during the spring break time. How far do you think it, that is across? From that end, it's only a mile and a half wide and about, uh, I believe it's 17 miles long. You can see the bridge from here. That's pretty neat. Yeah, and I didn't see it in the video. It didn't show up very well. All right, well, we're going to head back to the campground and we're going to have some grub. Like Terry said, yeah, look at this. Grub. I gotta get a picture of that bridge. That looks pretty awesome. <laughs> so, I like the way the sun sets out here at this lake. It's just uh, that that is just magnificent. I just uh, I don't see that out my window too much. In fact, I never see it like that out the window. We just uh, took a small hike down here. Hey, she's trying to light a fire with her hands. Oh, freezing. Yeah, so um, we just did a little hike down the, the cliff here from the campground. Um, but it's a windy day again. I don't know if I want to put the kayaks out here. She doesn't want to do the kayak. Yeah, because we can get too wet and it's just too cold. The cold, the wind and the spray from the bow. It just, uh, it's not worth being here. And, I mean, it's a beautiful lake. It's a big lake. It's awesome. Look at those mountains. They're just, just looking at you, just begging us to go over there in our boat and get the boat punctured. <laughs> but the saguaros are beautiful. And you can see that this was all underwater. It keeps going up and down. It fluctuates. There's the bridge. Uh, the dam's right there. Um, it's it's a nice. I mean, if I had a motorboat and a jacket, I would definitely want to be out here just to cruise around. But what we have, it, it just doesn't seem fun. Yeah, maybe next time. It's 90 degrees. So the uh, this is pretty deep here. This water looks black. Now yesterday this whole lake looked blue because it was a sunny day. Now today it looks black. You can see the bottom right here. Uh, I don't see any fish. Did you see any fish, Terry? It does state on the signs over here, uh, no swimming, no fishing, and no diving off the, this little dock. It's pretty 
calm. Ready to uh, head back to the camper? We're ready. We're ready to head back. It is peaceful out here. Hey, we're uh, summing up our trip here. Um, it was uh, a nice little stay for our spring break. Um, yesterday's weather was warmer than it is right now, and today, uh, did they say it was going to like sprinkle, possibly? Yeah, I think a storm's coming in, so. It is still breezy. The lake is still cold looking. Um, the weather's kind of cold. It's, uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, so we're going to pack up and uh, head back home. Uh, it's a nice campground. It's Troy Campground right along uh, Lake Roosevelt. It's uh, it's pretty good, pretty good place. Uh, if you come here during spring break, don't even bother leave, doing a reservation. There's plenty of open sites. Um, if the weather's cold, <laughs> if the weather's that's hot. not a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> if the weather's hot, you're gonna not you're gonna have yeah, a trouble. You're gonna finding have a hard time finding a site. Yeah, so it it was a good stay. Um, we had a good time. Uh, we had coyotes last night. They were yelping. It was like three or four of them. Oh, lots of them It was like that way. Yeah. I mean, I thought they were going to like cut open the trailer tent here and eat us both. That was but pretty scary. It, it's a good place. Um, you can see there's a mountain view over there, a mountain view all around this whole place. So we haven't met any nasty looking people, uh, you know, threatening us or anything like that. It's just real calm. You just get your ticket at the... Uh, at the machine out front with a debit card and then you find you just find an open space that doesn't have a reserve sign on it. And there's plenty of them in this, uh, in this campground. It is a beautiful campground. It's absolutely worth the stay. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, anyways, um, look for our one of our other shows that we have. We have plenty of them out there. Some are adventures and some are just like, uh, you know, goofy things. All right, thanks a lot. Ciao.